Hi, it's Tech Tuesday, Paul here, back again once more to talk about my home network. Now, last week I was trying to make the decision and I asked you for the help. Do I go with Ubiquity or Microtech? And thank you so much for all of the comments. I am extremely appreciative. I've been reading through all of them multiple times and really taking into consideration everything that you've put there for me. So thank you very much for that. If you're just here new for the journey, go on, subscribe. You know you want to. You're interested in home network gear? Well, so am I. And I'm trying to make the decision between Ubiquity and Microtik. And today I want to share with you one reason why Microtik might get the tick for me. Hi, my name is Rudolfs. And today we are looking at the brand new Cap XLAC. No, it is not a smoke detector. <laughs> Uh, okay, the product video on YouTube maybe isn't the reason to buy a product, but that, that's pretty funny. Uh, I, I have to say that's great. <sighs> Look, the number one reason why I'm thinking Microtik is price. Price, 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 price. Now, Ubiquity is known also for being extremely competitive on price and full, rich features. And the UI is fancy, and a lot of people talk about how great they find the whole configuration of uh, Ubiquity. So let me talk you through some of the comments from last week's video and give you a little bit of a summary here. So Dexter is definitely keen to future proof. So highly recommends, you know, go towards the Wi-Fi 6, go for it, go on. And is a bit concerned that the Microtik don't maybe match Ubiquity in the specs. I'll, I'll talk about that in a little while because I'm not quite sure that is the case and talks about the uh, Dream Machine Pro and this new SE special edition that's available that's sold out at the moment but maybe some more come to general sale and release sometime soon but I will talk about that unit I'm not quite convinced uh, Mike talks about the Unify access points and has home assistant Unify controller plug-in to manage them very cool I like that thank you Mike I have to uh, check that out whichever solution I go with uh, Michael wants the ubiquity yes definitely Michael's got a great little setup and I'm keen to see his full rack set up on his channel, um, but also recommends wait out, wait out for the, for the SE model. Well, let's have a look. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, Landon, just go for the Microtik RB5009. That's the one I showed in last uh, week's video, and then get some ubiquity access points. Call it a day, then you're done. <laughs> Landon, I like your attitude. You might be onto something there. Um, of course, uh, as Landon likes the Wi-Fi 6 AC lights, so Wi-Fi 6 support in the home, then yes, I'd need to go with Ubiquity. Uh, Microtik doesn't have any Wi-Fi 6, and the feeling I got from their forum and hearing other people ask about this is their kind of approach right now is, why do you need that? They might have a point. Might talk about that in upcoming videos as well. Um, Robert talks about Microtik being a little bit steeper learning curve, but very much more flexible. And if you're happy with the Wi-Fi 5, then go ahead. They're very stable. The access points work really well. And for the price of one of the ubiquity access points, you can just about get two Microtik access points. Now, again, price 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 i'm not after the cheapest i'm after quality but i do want value for money i like to squeeze as much as i can out of all of those euros that i don't have <laughs> uh, eddie would go for the ubiquity uh, then also uh, sebastian went with the ubiquity very satisfied with it so that's that's good to hear now sebastian you've got quite an impressive little setup there you've got the home rack happening and a whole bunch of access points and long range ones outside very very nice um micro tick was the second option it's the nerdy option <laughs> That might be the reason I go with it. You never know. You never know. Um, although I like to play around with tech, uh, I just want something that's easy to install and easy to manage, but also, you know, reliable. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, I, I don't want to fiddle around with the network too much. Now, this is something interesting. Ubiquity, a lot of people talk about how great Ubiquity is and the user interface and how easy it is to configure and you can kind of, oh, look, look, I can see what my network's doing. But I read a few comments from people saying, look, once I've got my network running, I just, I don't want to look at it. I, I don't want to think about it. 
very good point. So I don't really need to rank up on the list of things that I really have a beautiful UI. I don't really need that. I just, once it's configured and done, and it's robust and it's working, that's it. You know, I'll use something like Home Assistant to monitor some kind of statuses there. So that's something to think about. Uh, let's see, uh, Victor making a comment here about Microtech has this caps man and once you configure it you can just add access points later on and they'll all get the same SID and password and mm, 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 that's nice, very easy way to configure the access points and here we go as someone already said in the comments the Microtech APs are cheaper than the rest so you can buy more of them for the same price of uh, fewer ubiquity access points. Thank you so much for all of the comments. I really, really do appreciate them. Let me go into a little bit of the price thing, but in particular, let's talk about this Dream Machine Pro SE and versus the Microtech RB5009. Now, it's not really fair to compare the two, but price-wise, you just can't help it. Uh, Dream Machine Pro SE, this is this early access thing. It's sold out at the moment, but let's just have a look. The price, including the tax, over 500 euros. What do I get? Well, you get an NVR video recorder, you get a switch, you get a router, you get... Well, that's kind of it. Oh, it's got firewall capabilities in it, yes, that's true. But that, that is kind of it. Now, when I was reading some material and information on this, wanting to know what the back-end specs are, the backplane on this is, of the switch, is limited at one gigabit. But if you look at this device, it kind of makes sense. Someone on Reddit summed it up really well. Everyone is thinking of this device wrong. It isn't intended to be a router firewall with a switch tacked onto it. This is intended to be an NVR for cameras with a router tacked onto it. All the fancy high-speed switching should happen in another device. Spending over 500 euros on an NVR with a router in it, I'm not convinced that's the right way for me to go. Whereas, I could have the Microtech RB5009, the one I showed in last week's video. Do you see the price? 180 euros. And a particular use case I want to talk about is this has USB 3, so I could hook a network hard drive on it, in the cupboard, away. And there is an SPF Plus port, which can handle up to 10 gigabits. So if I would hook that from my video editing PC over some Cat6 on a short run into the SPF Plus 10 gigabit port, the USB 3, 10 gigabit, well, it's, USB 3 doesn't really go that fast. It's about 4.6 gigabits a second. But look at the block diagram here. Ah, this has uh, the USB the CPU 10 gigabit full duplex between the switch chip and the CPU and there we have over here the SPF one port or the SPF plus port at 10 gigabits now mm, this could very well handle an extremely important use case for me right now but also help me grow in the future very interesting very, very interesting. No, it doesn't have power over Ethernet. That's not a thing that Microtech seem to do. They probably have reasons for that too. Yes. As I said, I'm not after the cheapest, but I just can't go past the fact that this gear from Microtech is extremely competitive on price. And the features, it seems pretty feature jam packed more access points around the house there's some very good reasons to do that i might go into that in a future video i'll draw you a little network diagram next week as well as i start to plan out exactly the pieces that i want in the home network and this might be the way i go micro tick am i going to pull the trigger am i going to make the purchase well you'll have to find out next week so subscribe if you want to follow along thank you again for the comments on last week's video if you've got some more put them down below and i look forward to talking with you again next week when tech tuesday returns and of course i'll be here tomorrow i'm here every day see you thanks for watching